Carnival has bucked the trend and they don't have a godmother for their next cruise ship. They've got a godfather. After three years of construction, the new port in Nassau has opened and there's a case of cruise ship garbage being illegally dumped in Cozumel. My name is Stuart. This is Ship to Shore Cruise News. Let's get into it. Carnival has recently announced their new ship, the Carnival Venezia is going to have a godfather and not a godmother. This cruise ship is coming over from Costa Cruises from Italy and it's going to be sailing out of New York City. So since the crew carnival is the fun line, the fun cruise, uh, the fun ships, they want to make something fun and going with the theme of coming from Italy and New York City with godfathers. They're coming out and they've announced that Jay Leno, a person who is a lot of fun and Italian heritage, is going to be their new godfather. He'll be at a ceremony on June the 14th, uh, announcing the ship's departure. Uh, it will be sailing out of Manhattan uh, as of June the 15th, 2023. Nassau has completed its new, new cruise terminal with six berths uh, and a new terminal building as well. In addition, the port will have a museum, be able to have events and entertainment spaces and a 3,500 seat amphitheater. Uh, it's also going to have a living coral ex exhibit, exhibit as well as new dining venues and shops as well. Uh, I'm reading this here so I don't get it wrong. Chester Cooper, the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Tourism, in Investments and Aviation, says that not only will Bahamian culture shine through all aspects of the port, but the completion of the project marks a great milestone in ushering a new era for tourism in downtown Nassau, as well as a beautiful welcome for the millions of cruisers who disembark here each year. I've been to Nassau only once, and to tell you the truth, uh, I didn't have an excursion, I just thought I'd get off the ship and explore a little bit, and I was very underwhelmed. I found the cruise port itself was very, uh, oh, how can I say, it was very crowded with cruise ships that day, but the new port, it looks amazing. Uh, it makes me want to book a cruise that will go through the Bahamas now. Nassau with a new port, uh, they anticipate traffic numbers for 2023 to exceed pre-pandemic levels with about 4.2 million visitors. I'm sure a lot of cruise passengers getting off and I know everybody's going to enjoy that new, new port. Um, at this point in the video, I want you to remember if you like the content, hit that like button. Uh, if you like my content and you want to see more and you want to be reminded that there's more out there, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Uh, also, more promotion. Down below, you're going to see some links to some handy dandy uh, items that every cruiser should have. Take a look at them. If you like what you see, buy them. I recommend them all personally and I'm using more and more of them every time I cruise. Also, I like coffee. I'm sure a lot of you out there like coffee and I know there's nothing better than starting out a, your day on a cruise ship with a nice cup of coffee on that balcony. Anyway, if you see if you see so kind, please buy me a coffee. Click the link down below, buy me a coffee. We're going to move on to Cozumel and the illegal dumping of cruise ship trash. Well, it seems that a local company contracted to pick up and dispose of the trash and garbage from the cruise lines has been found illegally dumping the, this material and this garbage and this stuff into local landfills and in one case even into an empty lot. Uh, authorities there in Cozumel have fined this company uh, for illegally dumping wastes including recyclables and they also traced the contractor's route from the cruise ship loading dock to a landfill and finally to a vacant site on the island itself. That's horrible. The cruise lines have been working so hard at cleaning up their image. A lot of people think they're horrible for the environment. Uh, they're moving into sustainable fuels, uh, natural gas resources, hooking up to ship uh, to shore electrical power when they're in ports. Um, they're doing everything they can to recycle, reuse, and benefit the environment as much as possible. And they don't need a local contractor ruining their reputation and all that hard work. Uh, in addition to the fines, this contractor, let me read it here, uh, has been fined and prohibited from using the Cozumel's facilities for cruise ship waste disposals. Good for them.
going forward, I'm pretty sure the cruise lines are not going to be using this contractor any further. That's the news roundup for today. I know I shouldn't say that because people usually click and leave. I'm going to be coming up with more videos shortly. I'm going to be ramping up my production. I've been off for a little bit and I am going to be coming up with new stuff for you, including travel tip Tuesdays. So every Tuesdays I'm going to be uh, posting a little short about travel tips. One tip, it's going to be on my TikTok. It's going to be on the shorts. Stay tuned. I know you're going to enjoy it. Anyway, my name's Stuart. This is Ship to Share Cruise News. Get your cruise on. Thank you.